Evidence abounds that shows a high correlation between saturated fat consumption around the world and rates of MS. The evidence also shows that saturated and altered fats are especially harmful to people with MS. The most prominent person to study the connection between saturated fats and MS was Dr. Roy Swank. Starting in 1949, he tracked 150 patients with MS over 34 years. Half stuck to a diet low in saturated fat, the other half didn't. What did Dr. Swank discover? Those who stuck to the diet and ate on average 16 grams of saturated fat per day were dramatically better off after 34 years than those who didn't in terms of disease progression, relapse rates, and disability levels. In fact, after the first year of the study, those on the low saturated fat diet showed a dramatic 80% decrease in relapse rates. After five years, relapse rates dropped 95%. That's one relapse every 20 years. Swank's work is supported by OMS's Holism study results, which review data from over 2,500 participants from 57 countries. The Holism study showed that people with a very healthy fat intake had better quality of life, less relapses, and less disability. But people who lowered their fat intake to only moderate levels did not fare as well. You really need to lower your saturated fat intake a lot. A low saturated fat diet like the one promoted by Dr. Swank and OMS is by no means extreme. In fact, the most recent American nutritional guidelines suggest that everyone should aim to limit saturated fat on average to less than 22 grams per day. Why all the fuss about fats and MS? Well, fats make up the cell wall, and the types of fats we eat affect the way cells behave in our body. MS is all about inflammation and degeneration of cells, particularly myelin, which is made up of 80 to 85% fat. Different fats have different impacts on our bodies. Saturated fat in meat, dairy, and processed foods, and altered fat in heated oils, promotes degeneration and inflammation, exacerbating the symptoms of MS. Polyunsaturated fats like omega-3s are anti-inflammatory, and resistant to degeneration, so we recommend focusing on foods high in omega-3s, like seafood, fish, flaxseed, etc., and avoiding saturated fat like meat, dairy, and fried or processed foods. We have good evidence that MS is infrequent in places like Japan, where fish, which is high in omega-3, is eaten regularly. More recently, the Holism study results show that people with MS who consumed fish three or more times per week had better physical and mental health outcomes and a 50% reduction in relapse rates. Even more compelling, people with MS taking flaxseed oil regularly had over 60% fewer relapses than those who didn't. Therefore, we recommend flaxseed oil as the preferred option for omega-3 supplementation. And now a word about dairy. There is a high correlation between cow milk consumption and MS around the world. It is thought that a certain protein in cow's milk, butyrophilin, mimics part of myelin, which is thought to initiate the autoimmune reaction in MS and cause an abnormal pro-inflammatory response to dairy in people with MS. Therefore, it's best for people with MS to avoid dairy altogether. So what should you eat according to the OMS Recovery Program? For optimal results and health outcomes, we recommend a whole food, plant-based diet, plus seafood, so fruit, veggies, grains, legumes, soy products, fish, nuts, seeds, and egg whites. Take at least 20 grams of omega-3 daily or four teaspoons of flaxseed oil. Avoid saturated and altered fats like meat, dairy, egg yolks, and anything processed. Do not cook with oil unless baking with olive oil at standard baking temperatures, and never heat flaxseed oil. How do you put all of this together in your daily routine? Check our website for OMS recommended foods and recipes and stock up on the ingredients for some delicious meals. Embrace and enjoy all of the healthy and yummy food you can and choose to eat and don't focus on what's out of bounds. Check the OMS website and smartphone app regularly for tasty new recipes. And remember, one year ago, 98% of the atoms now in your body weren't there. So it's never too late to start.